Would you like to learn how to draw Mr. Smith's favorite elephant character in the whole wide world? And I guess you're wondering who it is. Well, it's Elmer. Elmer, the patchwork elephant by the author David McKee. And do you know, Elmer has a cousin. And he's kind of like Elmer, and he's kind of not like Elmer. And the only way for you to find out is to just watch. Please remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell so you can get weekly notices of my videos, and share my videos with friends and family. Big shout out to my Dogwood Elementary students on summer break. I'll see you in a little bit more than a month. I'm drawing a horizontal line and then on top of that I'm going to place two ovals. One for Elmer and one for Wilbur. Ovals are the best shapes for making their bodies. Two circles which will overlap the ovals of their bodies and these will be for the heads. Then we're going to make another circle for the ears and that's going to overlap the head. Now I'm going to make a J shape for their trunks, but it's too small so we must double it so that we have two lines. And now I'm going to make four rectangles coming out of the body for each of them, for Elmer and for Wilbur. You've probably guessed that the difference between Elmer and Wilbur is that Wilbur is black and white. I'm now making a tree that will go up between the two elephants. When I make trees, I like to make almost a Y shape and then I have the branches coming out of that spreading Y form. My top of my tree is similar to a cloud. Inside the large circle we're going to put two ovals for Elmer and Wilbur. And then we're going to start making vertical lines on their bodies. And then we're going to make horizontal lines which will help us to start creating the patchwork which makes Elmer and Wilbur famous. But the one difference about Elmer from Wilbur. Now let's talk about the similarities and differences of Elmer and Wilbur. Elmer is made up of a patchwork of many different colors. And that is what drew Mr. Smith into loving to use Elmer as a character in the classroom all the different colors. Now, Wilbur also is made up of the same patchwork of squares. But, instead of having all of these different colors, Wilbur is just black and white. Which made Mr. Smith have to be a lot more precise about how he placed the blacks and the whites because I didn't want to have one too close to the other while I was doing it. So I had to be very precise and you'll see later on in the video that I use a ruler while working on Wilbur more so than I did with Elmer because I didn't worry about Elmer because he had different colors all over the place. Now, my reasons behind using Elmer as much as I do in the classroom. First off, Elmer is made up of very simple shapes. Ovals, circles, squares, rectangles. Very easy for my younger students to break it down and put things together when you're using simple shapes like that. Second, Elmer is filled with colors, which really helps in me trying to teach students about using different colors. Now, there is also another lesson to be had with Elmer. 
and I'm going to talk a little bit about why the author, David McKee, first wrote Elmer. He said he wrote Elmer after witnessing somebody saying something that was in reference to his daughter and it really upset him. We are all different. And that's what makes people unique, all the differences. I teach at a school where we have students from over 20 different countries attending the school. So we're very different. But I think and what David McKee wrote about by doing Elmer is by having an elephant that was different, not gray like all the other elephants, they found out that he was special because of his differences. And all of my kids, because of their differences and being from so many different places, that's what makes them special. That's what makes them important and makes the world and my school so rich. So that's why I use Elmer, because Elmer teaches a wonderful lesson that we should appreciate people because of their differences. These are the things that make them unique and make them special. And we should accept them just as they are just as Elmer was accepted and cherished by all the other elephants in the herd because he was a special elephant. And let's not forget, his cousin Wilbur is a special elephant too. I love Elmer. I love the story of Elmer. And I like using him in a classroom. And I like the joy that kids have on their faces after they are able to create a drawing with such a beautiful elephant. If you can get to the library, check out Elmer and many of the other books from the collection. The author's name is David McKee. It's a beautiful collection of books that I know every child would love to read. And especially check out Elmer and Wilbur. I want to thank you for coming to see my video today. Please subscribe, like, share, talk about Mr. Smith's Art Room for Kids to everyone. Help us to grow so that we can share this art room with the world. I want you to take care. I want you to have a wonderful day, a wonderful week. Bye-bye.